Hey, hey, everybody. I hope you're doing well today. This is Brad Cartwright with Econ Course Companion. And today we're going to take a look at how to show profit levels in the market structure of monopolistic competition. What are those profit levels? Those profit levels are abnormal profit, normal profit, and a loss. And to start off, just like we've done in Monopoly and in monopolistic competition, or rather perfect competition, we're going to take a look at the base diagram because understanding this base diagram will make it so much easier for you to understand how to draw an abnormal profit diagram, a normal profit diagram, and a loss. And what I hope that you see, what you, I hope that you see, what I hope you get from this is that actually these diagrams are not complicated. It's one base diagram and then all you do is draw the average cost curve or the average total cost curve, same curve, in a different location to show abnormal profit, a loss, or normal profit. All right, check it out. So here we go with the base diagram, right? What is this? Well, this is the base diagram that we use in theory of the firm to show profit levels for you know it, monopolies, monopolistic competition, and also oligopoly with the exception of this theory of the kink demand curve. So what is it? Well, it's an axis, a vertical axis of price and cost with a currency of a dollar or any, any currency. Um, of course, you got the origin of zero. The horizontal axis is output. And then we back off and we go, okay, so we know that this is monopolistic competition. So that means they're going to have a downward sloping demand curve because they're price makers. They get to pick their price to some extent. And we also know that average revenue equals demand, so we can label that demand equals average revenue. We also know that the marginal revenue curve is going to descend at twice the rate of average revenue, and it's going to cross the horizontal axis because it's possible to have negative marginal revenue, and we're going to label that MR. Then we're going to come back, and we are going to draw with a swooping motion our marginal cost curve. The marginal cost curve is the indicator curve. It is the curve that's going to tell us where to look for almost every um, possible scenario in monopolistic competition and monopoly and oligopoly, by the way, and actually perfect competition. Okay, then what do we do? We back off and we go, okay, hey, where's the profit maximizing level of output? That is always where MC equals MR. And this level of this quantity level of output, this Q is our guide to the rest of all that we need to do for profit diagram. So we take that output level up to the demand curve. We move over to the vertical axis and we put our price there. Now we back off that and we go, okay, check it. Now we're done. This is the base diagram. If you just know this one diagram, my friends, labeling or showing rather abnormal profit or showing loss or showing normal profit is easy because if you know this, you know there's only one curve missing and it is the average cost curve or the average total cost curve. By the way, different teachers use different terms for that one curve. It's the same curve, okay? But look at this quantity right here. Let me just think about this. Just think about the logic behind this. This quantity right here tells us that at this level of output Q, this firm, this is the profit maximizing point because at this point right here, marginal cost, the cost of making one more unit of output is equal to the revenue gained from producing one more um, unit of output. And therefore, this gives the firm the chance, the highest chance of making profits. It doesn't mean they will. It means they can. This is that where they'll be able to be most profitable if they can get their costs below what? Below the price of the good. That's it. So there's an average, to there's an average cost curve that we're going to draw in here in a second. And if it, <laughs> it crosses this level of output, at any point along, along uh, this vertical representation of this quantity, then the firm's going to make profits. Because what does this say? This says that this is the average cost of making this level of output. And therefore, if this intercept between this quantity and our average cost is below price, dude, you're going to make money beyond the cost that it costs you to make that unit of output. This, make it simple, make it pizza. Let's say that this is the quantity where we could poss possibly profit maximize, right? And we know that it costs us $5 to make this pizza. That's our cost. Well, if we sell the pizza for $8, dude, we make $3 per pie. Hello? That's easy. But if our, if our average costs, you know, if this is $8 and our average costs are $10 for this unit, uh, 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 this just in, but you're going to make a loss. 
And of course, if we can sell the pie for $8 and our costs are $8, then we'll just make normal profit. Okay, so don't get all tangled up in this. It's not that hard. You just have to think about it in, a, in like an intuitive way that you already understand. And the way that you look at that is like, okay, so if this is the profit maximizing point, if the costs that we operate as a firm are at, are at any point lower than the price, we'll make abnormal profits. All right, check it out. So here's the base diagram that we just drew over on the left, right? And then the IB will say, okay, show abnormal profit in monopolistic competition. Okay, as we just described, all you need to do is show an average cost that crosses this quantity below price. Bam, look at what Jocelyn Blink drew in her very well done diagrams. Look, there's A, that's the price we have to get in order to cover our costs. And lo and behold, we have a co average cost curve. By the way, remember, the lowest point of this average cost curve must be on the marginal cost curve, not over here, on the marginal cost curve. Always, always, always. Okay. So then we do that, and we come back, and we say, okay, well, here is where this quantity cross our, co cross our, our um, average cost curve. And so everything from there up, this whole box is abnormal profit. It's easy, man. That's not hard, right? If this is our $5 pizza and we sell it for eight, we just made $3 a pie. For all of them, yeah. For every piece of every pizza we made up to this quantity level, we made it cost us five bucks, and we sold it for eight. We made this box of normal pro abnormal profits, all right? Super cool. Now, how would we show a loss? Well, remember, this quantity is super important, and we're going to extend it up there and check out the next slide. If we just, there's the base diagram, if we just extend this quantity upwards to be able to show a loss, all we have to do is draw our average cost curve so it's lowest points on the marginal cost curve. Make sure you do that. That's really important, right? And then go back to this quantity level, and wherever this crosses the average cost curve, that's where we break even, but oh no, our break-even point is above the price. So this is, let's say it costs us $10 to make the pizza. Oh no, but we only get eight. Yeah, for every piece of pizza we, for every pizza we make, we lose $2, right? Even though we're operating at our profit maximizing level of output, if our costs are above price, we're gonna show a loss, of course. It's not hard. If you just remember this diagram and then realize you just have to draw three different average cost curves in order to show what the IB wants, which is just to show a loss or to show abnormal profit, or the last one is normal profit, right? Here's the base diagram. Boom, 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 boom. Start with all of this. Then say, okay, wait a minute. We want normal profit. Where would that be? Well, and for some reason, Jocelyn Blink changed her colors on these, on these lines, but um, ignore that, right? Where are we? We're going to operate at our... Um, profit maximizing level of output, which is point Q, right? We go up there, we have this curve, we come back and we say, oh, we want to show normal profit. Oh, normal profit's where we, you know, make our pizza for $8 and we sell it for $8. We cover all of our costs. Everybody gets paid. You know, that doesn't mean we're losing. Everybody gets paid. The owner gets paid. Everybody goes on vacation, gets to go out to dinner at a normal rate that they normally do. But we have an average cost curve that's now drawn. Its lowest point is here. This is the lowest point. Make sure you draw it that way. And then we go back, and this is a tangential point right there. There's just like, think one little point um, where our costs are covered by the price that we get for cost equal price that we get for our last unit of output, which is at the profit maximizing level, which is Q and where MC equals MR. Okay, so that is how you would show normal profit in the market of monopolistic competition. And if you've been watching all of these videos and going through um, monopoly and then monopolistic competition, you will realize that guess what? It's the same set of diagrams for both monopoly and monopolistic competition because they are both price makers. And when they're price makers, they have downward sloping demand curves. All right, my friends, listen, you got to the whole process of going through IB economics is to reduce things down to as simple of mode as possible. And if you just think of this base diagram for all revenue um, and profit diagrams in IB economics, it's going to be so helpful to you, right? Remember that base diagram, and then the IB is going to say, hey, student, can you show abnormal profit? And then you just draw the ATC curve or the average cost curve below price. You want to show loss? Show it above. Draw it above price. You want to show it at normal profit? Right at the price where cost equals price. All right, my friends, 
I hope you found this video to be helpful. You are super cool to be studying economics. Economics is the background and the backdrop and the philosophy behind all of economics. If you don't agree with that, keep learning, keep studying. I'm telling you, politics is just economics in a different color. All right, my friends, be cool, be kind to yourselves. Hope this was helpful. We'll talk to you in a bit.